All right, here's how I set up my beaver foot holds. You can imagine that's our slide coming down. I'm doing this in my garage, so just kind of bear with me. Drowning rod, I use these uh, Bowers No Weld kits. You can pick them up at FNT or Minnesota Trap, I think. That's where I bought these at. About five bucks, work really well. Uh, you just tighten that set screw down on the end of your rebar. With a lock, um, plain old drowning lock, <clears throat> and it comes with an end piece that keeps the lock from sliding off the end. And I'll show you how that works in just a minute. All right, here's how I set up all my beaver traps, foot holes, especially uh, to number four Sleepy Creek. Works pretty well. I don't usually have too many, I don't have any misses out of it actually, but it snaps. This guy's nothing in it. Um, <clears throat> Straight, just stock chain from the factory. I had another swivel um, and then a quick link down here. That lets me take it off as I need to, but I can just carry a trap in one hand and uh, drown it right in the other. All right, we're back. So let's kind of figure out how we want to set these traps. So, um, so we're gonna pretend this piece of plywood right here leaned on that tire is our slide or uh, beaver dam break. Um, set this. Something about like that. I don't want my trap uh, too deep in the water. Um, these are trying to catch them by the front foot with this. So, you know, just barely underwater. It's a lot of mud, so they're long springs. Really work well. They um, sit real flat. <clears throat> Way I like them. Uh, get your lock, point it down as far down as you can get it. Um, so when the beaver go starts moving, it automatically just kind of goes goes down into the water. Um, you're gonna have to play a little bit with your um, you know, terminal end, I guess, of your drumming rod, and figure out exactly where you want it. Um, really, just to make sure that it's deep enough. I kind of use my drilling rods as guides to kind of point, get the you know, beaver or otter or whatever going in the right direction. So if he hits that, he kind of turns and goes right across my trap. Anyway, that's how I set mine up. Any questions, give me a call.